that have traveled from outside Rwanda, in particular the heads of delegations and the dance troops from Burundi. Are you here? Burundi? Yes, uh, Burundi, Burundi is here. Burundi. Democratic Republic of Congo, are you here? Egypt, are you here? Namibia, are you here? Uganda as well is represented here. And of course, the dance troupe from Rwanda. Very special welcome to all these dance troops that are going to make this day and this week extremely special for all of us here. Your presence, in particular, is the very essence of the diversity of the culture that FESPAD is all about. We thank you all for honoring our invitation and for enriching this FESPAD with your presence. We look forward to enjoying what you've prepared for all of us in this whole week. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as you know, FESPAD was adopted in 1998 by the Organization of the African Unity, and it has played a key role in promoting peace and unity on the African continent through the exchange of culture, among other things, music and dance. This is indeed not very surprising, given that in Africa, dance expression is at the core of our continent's social, political and economic fabric. Similarly, in promoting the exchange and sharing of culture among different countries, FESPAD has in fact promoted both domestic and regional cultural tourism among the African countries. It has enabled us to know each other better and to gain access to the wealth of culture across the continent. It is our hope that this exchange grows even more significant in the future editions of FESPAD. Ladies and gentlemen, in this particular edition, we have introduced for the first time a competition for the African dance title. You've heard the countries that are here. One of them is going to be the African dance number one title on the continent. We don't know which one that is, but one of them will be. In addition to that, it's not just the countries that will be competing for a title. We have a special title for the Rwandans as well. At the district level, talented Rwandans will be able to compete for the national title. And again, we'll see who from which part of the country will take that award. Your Excellency's invited guests, it's not just the dance competitions that we have for you in this first part. We also have the dance workshops that we started in the last first part. These workshops have been growing in popularity, as you all know. And for those who have room for learning new dance styles, this is the opportunity for you. The dance workshops will have experts teach both learners and those who are a bit more advanced, different styles, whether it's traditional or contemporary music, please come and learn one new dance style in our dance workshops. We hope that you'll all take a break and learn one new dance style. The festival will also include rhythm and beat of the African people, not just in Kigali, but will also take it outside Kigali. You can follow the dance actions in the eastern province in Romagana, in southern province in Huye, and of course the scenic town of Rubavu will have a beach party also scheduled for this week. Please look out for that as well. And obviously at the very end we have special surprises for you. We have artists coming from the region, coming from within Rwanda, but we also have a surprise international artist that you will see on the closing next Saturday. Please be there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to once again welcome you to First Part 2013. Please enjoy the opening ceremony, but enjoy the entire week. You will get the program. Please do not miss any part of it. We have exciting programs for you. And now at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to invite our guest of honor, Honorable Protein Mitali, to deliver his statement 
and officially opened Fespad 2013.